Hello once again, oh. good day to all of you. Welcome back to our virtual class for today. Right, so I hope that all of you are okay. Are you okay? Great, are you ready? Now let's get started! Alright kids, good day to all of you and welcome back to our class for today and uh, the topic that we talk about uh, last time is all about life a cycle of flowering plants and today we will be talking about a very specific plant that we are going to what discover what's the life cycle of this certain plant all right so let's go Okay, this is our virtual classroom rules as we continue with this video. Number one, be a good listener. You have to listen to uh, the presentation. And number two, we ha you have to follow directions. And number three, we have here finished this video till the end. Let's continue. So the title of our topic for today is Sunflower Life Cycle. So you know what's the reason behind that I used sunflower as our topic for today is that we know that sunflower is a very beautiful flower. So and we can see also that there, there are lots of sunflower farms here in Thailand. So let's go. Sunflower plants are one of the most fastest growing plants. They offer adventures with children and adults. As you can see in the pictures, both adult and children are enjoying the blooming flowers of sunflower some of them taking photos and some of them riding motorcycles just to experience the beauty of a sunflower i know that some of you experience also taking photos in the middle of the sunflower farm so I can experience this one I can tell you also because I have an experience to go and visit one of the sunflower farms here in Thailand and it's so nice a perfect to learn about the different stages of plants growth and on how to keep a plant healthy from sowing the seeds to harvesting the crops so what is the sunflower growth timeline so today we will be talking about something and let's start from the very beginning okay from the sunflower seeds of course now let's talk about the eight stages of sunflower growth okay stage one Planting seeds day one of planting the sunflower. Here, sunflowers should be planted one to one and a half inches deep and about six inches apart after the soil has thoroughly warmed. So, this is the process of the seed planting that you have to to remember if you have a plan to grow a sunflower stage 2 we have here the germination process and this day day 2 to, to, to 10 days after the seeds have been planted germination process starts to happen 
So as you can see in the pictures, or the GIF, that's what we called as germination. This is the first stage of the seeds awakened life underneath the soil out of sight the wispy roots and a developing shoot pushes its way to the surface of the soil so as you can see the shoot and the roots are moving in opposite way the roots go to the surface of the soil while the shoot will go up to meet the sunlight stage three we have seedling here the day is day 10 to day 35 so the seedling has become a young sunflower plant this is its development stage to gain as much growth as it can so the newly sprouted sunflower usually has a baby leaves on it how many leaves two baby leaves and quickly grows many more as the stem starts to get taller stage four growing a bud day 35 to day 30 65 so this time a maturing sunflower has grown a big and strong enough to produce a bud regular watering is so important for the budding and flowering stage of its life so you have to water your sunflower regularly in order that your sunflower can survive stage 5 here we have the flowering stage day 65 to 85 days so this time you can see the sunflower has now reached its blooming stage and gently opens its petals as you can see on the flower on your screen look at the petals of the sunflower it's slowly what growing uh, showing the sunflower bud starts to open see as you can see the picture or the JF there nah so that's the the actual opening of the sunflower sunflowers bud see all right next stage six the same days as what the flowering the pollination will have happen day 65 to 85 days also this time within the flowering stage the pollination takes place too in all its petaled gloriousness, the sunflower welcomes pollinators to visit the thousand of nectar filled desk florets that are located within the large brown center circle. This is what we call as pollination. Look at this. The pollinators, mainly bees, sip like that on the nectar while pollen gets stuck on their fluffy bodies. They transfer this pollen to another flowers to start the pollination and fertilization process of the sunflower. Stage 7 seed development day 85 to 105 days so this time after pollination the fertilized seeds start to develop and ripen 
the main object of its whole life cycle has come to this producing as many healthy seeds as it can so this time the pollination had fertilized seeds and the seeds developed to be to ripen the back of the sunflower's head starts to turn yellow as you observe on the back here the back the back's here head turns to what yellow this is a perfectly natural tells us that the seed is ripening and this process could last up to 125 days depending on the variety and conditions so after 125 days you can now harvest the seeds of your sunflower as you can see seeds are nearly ripe for picking and actually sunflower seeds can be eaten also and it can buy and you can buy this one in tesco lotus in 7-eleven big c or any other stores here in thailand you can buy it stage eight this is the last but not least harvesting process day 105 to day 125 so look at this the ripened seeds are ready to harvest at this stage the sunflower's head starts to drop and turn brown right that's all for today and i hope that you learned something about the life cycle of the sunflower plant so before we end this video i would like to give you the worksheet and then print it answer it and then put in the folder and bring it with the class resume Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. A flying piece.